And welcome back, YouTube, to another Exploring New Vegas. In our quest, our main quest, we read a note on Manny's terminal telling us that our attackers had gone through or were on their way to Boulder City. We made our way to the area to see what we could find out. When we got there, we find the town in ruins. And we find this plaque on this spot in the year 2277, Rangers and Soldiers of the New California Republic turned back the forces of Caesar's Legion during the Battle of Hoover Dam. And our first location to the right A is customer. the Bighorn Not many people Saloon. come into Boulder City these days. Most of the town is rubble, destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam. And the only other thing around here is the concrete mixing yard. The NCR has been constructing bunkers up and down the river. From what I've heard, it's a little late for that. Travelers over at the 188, just up the road, said that the Legion has overrun a couple of towns to the south. Most of the limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west, but I hear some death claws overran the quarry. With no work to be had, all the workers around here have wandered off. I'm the only one left in town. Now we can head to the other location in Boulder City. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. Where we find the NCR in another standoff. One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the Cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The Cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Once the Great Cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Now we can offer our help to start the quest. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. Alright. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. And that's our chance. We move in. This rebel is slippery. Watch your step. Beats Head to the back, the to the red building on the right. What the this hell? is where you'll find Jessup. That courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. He's supposed to be dead. Jessup was there when we were shot. All right. We tell him we're a ghost. Around. He survived and he tracked us down. What now? Where's the chip? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. And that completes Ring-a-Ding-Ding. -ding. Tracking down Benny. And we get our next clue to head to the strip. Yeah? On what? Just a big fancy poker chip as far as I know. Don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum though. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. We try to bribe our way out, but seeing as how Benny didn't pay us yet, that won't happen. And face NCR justice? If you have a high enough speech. Right, and they'd probably give us all medals, too. Maybe I should kill a hostage because you wasted my time with this shit. That wasn't an option for us. A alternate option would be to kill Jessup. I pit pocketed him and took his chairman job offer and I took the engraved cigarette lighter. If we read the note quick, thought you'd want to know that one of the chairman bigwigs were looking to hire Muscle for a job out in Good Springs. I don't know what it's about, though the details are all hush hush. We head back out and talk to Lieutenant Monroe. How are the negotiations with the Great Cons going? And we ask about a bribe. You mean, just let them go? How would I explain this to my superiors? 500 caps would go a long way for some soldiers' families. I'll be back with the caps. All right. Shoot. We can also... Very well. Keep me updated. Choose the option, um... Of killing Jessup again, I hear I showed that option. I went back and pitpocketed him and put a live frag grenade in his pocket. Look out! Go 
With this option, you lose reputation with the Great Cons, and you'll have to actually kill all of them, including all of them around the whole area. If you loot Jessup's body, you'll find not too much after you already have the lighter and the note. So. I actually chose not to go this route. How are the negotiations with the Great Cons going? 500k. This doesn't feel quite right, but it resolves things. It gets my troopers back in one piece. And he accepts for 500 caps to let the cons escape. Now we can go back and talk to Jessa. I'm tired of talking. And we are out of here. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Uh, we already took that from you, but yeah, Jessup on. gives us a lighter for the second time. And that gains us favor with the great cons. And completes Boulder City Showdown. Here you can see the uh, prisoners running away. Just as we agree. And we can see the NCR kept up with Sorry. their deal. And there's um, Jessup leaving. You can talk to him, but... Benny. That's Thank all he has to say. Back. You can also talk to the prisoners. So that's it. That's the uh, Boulder City Showdown. and I think this is a good option, a good way to end the um, mission. But let me know what you think in the comments. And this is just a little short one. Boulder City Showdown. I hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you in the next hey. one. Bye-bye. Thanks for the rescue. Man, I thought I was dead for sure.